Good morning, Beaver Creek. This is Ross Leonhardt with the Vale Daily. Catching some Christmas Eve turns at Beaver Creek as the sun comes up. Possibly my favorite time of the day. Happy holidays to everyone tuning in. It is a beautiful day in Colorado. Beautiful morning. Beaver Creek's got a lot of terrain open, top to bottom skiing. It is cold, yes. It is definitely a cold one today. Tomorrow's supposed to be a little bit more warm. So Christmas day, Christmas morning should warm up a little bit after presents are opened. Thanks for tuning in from Virginia. We're riding up the Centennial Express right now. The cold, the cold actually is pretty good, especially this time of year. Helps keep the snow around, ready for more to drop. Just bundle up. As the sun comes up, it'll warm up. We got a little bit of snow earlier in the week. It's supposed to be sunny for the next couple days and uh, the next storm might roll in next week. Thanks for tuning in from Texas. Happy holidays, everyone. Kara Connolly, hello, good morning, happy holidays. Happy holidays to Surfside Beach in South Carolina. Thanks for tuning in. Again, this is Ross Leonard with the Vale Daily. It's a beautiful morning here at Beaver Creek, Christmas Eve. I think a lot of people are getting ready for the holiday. Not very busy here yet this morning. If we get some thumbs up here, I'm gonna strap in and uh, get a little, get a little run in. If you guys want to see what it looks like out here, look at this beautiful groom that's all over the mountain. Just beautiful. Corduroy is always in style. Both Vale and Beaver Creek have some amazing crews that keep the mountain in great shape like this in between snowstorms. Just beautiful, just perfect. Thanks, Kara. Happy holidays to everyone tuning in. I like to say, living out here that, especially around the holidays, every day is Christmas here. Every day it looks like Christmas, every day it feels like Christmas. 
but especially here December 24th and 25th. Let's check it out. Let's see what's uh, let's see what's going on. See if you guys can stay tuned. Make a couple turns. Usually I do this with my GoPro. I'm actually holding my phone right now. So I apologize if it's a little shaky. GoPro does a really good job of clearing that up for me. But it is just beautiful out. Sun is out, it'll warm things up. Let's make some turns. Rose Bowl, looking good. Looking good for the holidays. I'm already starting to think about New Year's resolutions. Maybe snowboard more. We're here at Beaver Creek. We're cruising towards uh, Latigo and then we'll hit Centennial. It's a beautiful groom. Let's check this out. It's uh, pretty chilly in the shade here. Did we keep you guys through that? You guys still out there? Give me a thumbs up or uh, hey, we're still here. Not sure how the connection goes cruising across the mountain. I see some thumbs up. That's awesome. That's awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed that little cruise. We're over here on Centennial now. It's a uh, I can see the sunlight. I'm going to try to get into some sun. It is definitely smooth as butter. Man, it feels a lot. <laughs> I can feel the sun. Oh, what a morning. Christmas Eve. Happy holidays to everyone tuning in. This is Ross Leonhardt with the Vale Daily. Getting my Christmas Eve turns in before days of work. Anyone watching gonna be out here tomorrow, Christmas Day? Christmas morning's usually really good while everyone's moving slow, opening presents. It's pretty. It's a pretty good morning to be out on the hill. Check out uh, Vale Daily tomorrow morning. I'll come out and do a official on the hill conditions report from Beaver Creek. Interesting thing that happened to me yesterday with the reservation system. 
I went over to Vail yesterday morning, got a couple laps in, did a cool little video on the hill. And then I came over to Beaver Creek and I wanted to hit Beaver Creek in the same day. It was actually really easy. All I had to do was just pull up the app, cancel my reservation at Vail, and log out, log back in, and reserve at Beaver Creek. And I hit both mountains in one day. So that was interesting to do. Plane ticket and lift ticket. I, uh, I wish I could. I wish I could. Uh, but thanks for tuning in. That's why I do it. So everyone can see what the hill looks like and enjoy it on Christmas Eve. I'm going to get to the bottom here. Groom and Crew. We're coming down to the base area. As you can see, the sun's still coming up on the mountain. Here at Beaver Creek and Vale, face masks are required. My recommendation is to bring a couple um, if one gets wet or gets a little messed up, you can swap it out throughout the day. That's really, uh, my best recommendation. It's really not that big of a deal. Check out this lift line. Pretty open. Pretty open. Hey, thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm about to sign off. If anyone has any questions or would like to say anything, now's the time. Happy holidays. Oh, that was a fun one. Glad you guys could, could tag along for that. that that's uh, kind of my morning routine, that run. A couple laps down that. Happy holidays. Stay safe. How do you keep your goggles fog free? So that's actually a big thing this year. So as you can see on mine, I've got it. It's got to cover the nose. So my nose is covered. I try not to put it all the way under the goggles. That's, that's where you can get some issues when you start having your breath going straight up into your goggles. So I've got a little bit tucked in here, a little bit of separation. The biggest recommendation too is I know it can be hard, but if you think about it, professional athletes or just athletes in general, they really control their breathing when they're doing some crazy stuff. So skiing and snowboarding is no different. My recommendation is really work on controlling your breathing. If you're breathing really hard, you're gonna fog up. You can see I'm getting a little fog because I'm talking so much. So just, just uh, try to work on that. Try to be in control, in control of your breathing, in control of your skis, in control of your board. Every now and then, if I get a little fog, I'll, I'll do something like this, you know, pull it up, let some air get in there. But I also would really recommend a good pair of goggles. Uh, I love my goggles. I wear them every day, whether it's sunny or, or a whiteout. Um, and, they, and they do really well. Uh, it might be time for a new pair, which will help as well. But goggle fog, it's just part of it. Just be prepared. Um, those little tricks, try to control your breathing every now and then do this. Um, lift lines, if you're on the chairlift, maybe just pull it up while you wait. But we're dealing with it. It's worth it. It's worth the hassle. So good question. Thanks for asking. All right, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Ross Leonard with The Vale Daily. Happy holidays. Get on out. We'll see you soon.